one out of every three players in an online FPS game are cheating. He's just connecting to the remote play. And then in other games, it's way more than that. What does this revelation mean for the future of gaming in general? So it's an AI aimbot? Yeah, AI aimbot. Works in any game. They sell these by the millions. And it's not just your little brother either. At every level of the industry, from pros to streamers, cheating is rampant. And it will become a real job to cheat in his game. It's a full-fledged business. Are you getting old? Yeah. Is yeah. gaming changing? Or is it that rampant cheating is not fun? Over a year ago, we set out to use AI with one goal in mind, saving FPS games. We're ready for you to submit your clips to help train our model. What you're about to witness in this video is the solution. The solution to cheating in online gaming. You can take a shortcut to something, but there will be a consequence somewhere, somehow. Eventually. What those consequences will look like I think is now up to us somewhat. So cheating in online FPS games is the worst it's ever been ever right now. On every system, console included, at every level, around 30% of players in any given game are cheating. So this is basically the final form of the AI cheats that single-handedly killed FPS games about a year ago. This program essentially acts as like a mediator between remote play and the game. All it uses is a live stream of your game so as long as you have an internet connection that's like two megabytes per second, one, it enables mouse and keyboard on console. But what's worse is you can essentially plug in an AI aim assist. It can use AI to read the screen, find the enemies, send input back to whatever system you're using, console included, and then aim at the enemy for you. So it's basically just acting as your remote play controller. Yeah. Dude, that's and it nuts. Gives you defeat. To get access to it, the godly knew. He went in and he infiltrated this website. He made the cheaters love him he convinced them to like him so that they would give him the cheat it took months i'm just kidding i'm just kidding he paid five bucks <laughs> so for a few bucks or a free version that comes with a virus you can pretend uh -huh. you're better than everyone else this can never be detected by an anti-cheat scanning what's running on the system because all of this is running only off of watching the game the same way you do so this is an eight person free for all where all of us have cheats installed and one person is chosen at random to enable their cheats, but no one knows who it is. And we're all trying to guess who's the person that has cheats enabled. Someone's That's a hacker right now. Yep. Someone's a hacker. Someone should be at least. Oh my gosh. Let's go. I just spawned in. Two back to back. It's not him. Okay, let's... Yeah. yeah, man. I'm cracked out of my mind. Keep in mind, we have a point system going here, and we're trying to not get detected as the hacker by the other players. Also, these are the devs that are so graciously donating their time to work on the Waldo project for all of us. I'm linking the Waldo Discord and a few other things. Go give them a big thank you. People play interesting ways of Counter-Strike, I guess, huh? That's crazy. Seven. It's this guy. So take a look at the footage. See if you can guess which one of these angles is someone using aim assist. I was, I I'm thinking homeless, it was, honestly. Yeah, it was definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I thought he's similar. Oh, dude, that's a bad idea, boys. I just left this part in so you guys would know it wasn't me and that I'm oh. just cracked out of my <laughs> to be honest, dude, I just had to double check to make sure they were off. I'm just saying. So make your guess. You're left with a one Damn. in three chance of getting it correct. The answer will be at the end of the video and in the description. Point okay. is, you can't tell. And if you got He's lucky, it was a one in three chance, kid. That's how likely it is to run into a cheater if you play one game today. But what we can't see, an AI can with certainty. To our human eyes, this just looks it's like... It's AI that shits on us, right? To have smoothing and look natural, look like human aim. But to a trained AI, the difference is night and day. The best way to describe it is like having a trained medical physician. Try and tell the difference between someone that's really jacked on steroids and then like a dog. There's no mistaking it. Couldn't just a really advanced AI cheat go undetected with lots of human data? No, this is a permanent solution to end the cat and mouse forever. And I will explain why I'm getting there. A lot of people ask, what about ESP? Okay, what would you say is the most- This will never catch ESP. To tell if someone is cheating based on your experience of, you know, like antagonizing them in game. I mean, there are a lot of things. This is Goat, AKA Tim. He wanted to know just how many people were cheating in Tarkov. So he installed cheats with the intentions of 
finding the cheaters. Kill to death ratio, what gun they have out, how much ammo they have, everything was cheap. Game sense is something that is a really big deal in a game like Tarkov. How to move around the map, where to look, how to set up your gun. So what is it that he used to distinguish if someone was cheating or not? I can't believe it. No, 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 before the wiggle, as funny as that is. This duo was the highest KD that I came across that I think was legit. If you looked at them on the radar, they were just constantly looking around. The little things were just going everywhere. And they were checking areas where just no one was there. It's painfully clear that these two chads are legit. How refreshing. And then you'd watch these other guys that have like 20 something KD, just running straight into a building, straight to a jacket to get their item straight out. Yeah. And straight a different way. And you, when, when you looked around that area on the map, there was nobody that could kill yeah. them. And they just already knew that, so they didn't have to look around. He was looking at human behavior. Do we know of anything that can kind of detect human behavior? I don't know. Is there any technology out there that can kind of look at human behavior and see if it's human or not? I don't know, guys. I don't know. There is an extremely distinguishable behavior between someone using cheats. Yeah, but you're all human. It's all human behavior, right? I mean... How are you going to distinguish like uh, like when someone runs it like an item versus when someone accidentally runs it the item? And someone not using cheats. So we thought instead of just aim cheats, what about an AI that can detect everything? An AI that analyzes player behavior and determines if they're cheating based on how they're interacting with the game with over 99% accuracy. This is what will save FPS games. Now I realize that that sounds like a pipe dream, like an impossible solution that's years away, another hopeless dream of one day gaming with no cheaters online. And here's the twist, it already exists. <laughs> It's, someone made it, and it wasn't us. <laughs> the day I was tearing my hair out. Why is this not in every single game? What is going on? I it have wasn't so us. many theories. <laughs> game developers don't need good anti cheat Everyone keeps playing. Cheating in games, this whole other industry is stimulating the game. As a game dev, why would you stop it? There is technically <laughs> financial reward for them yeah. if the cheaters keep buying accounts. AI anti-cheat exists. Game devs are not using it. Luckily, the truth was the simplest answer. And just this year, early January 2023, we started to implement it in the games. And so it's starting for now. It's, it's, it's happening as we speak. This is the CGO and CEO of AnyBrain, the AI anti-cheat that detects everything. How does it distinguish between someone that is, is say, using like an ESP in a game versus someone that isn't. What we do is every player is providing data about how it is possible to perform the games. So let's say you have a reaction time. When you find an opponent and you move to there, there is different cognitive skills that we apply when we are playing a game. Oh, stream, you're we, done, we bro. Extract from <laughs> you're out of here. Cognitive skills that are being applied on, on a specific We're gonna find yeah, out. Even. So it's it's learning constantly. He's about to smash okay. everyone else's okay. like one tap yeah. statue yeah, so, and catch a and band. And so what percentage of people would you say are cheating in some form? We always start with a very high trend meaning yep. that we do not necessarily catch everybody, but everybody that we're catching, we are 100% sure. We usually see between maybe 10, 15, 20% of players that are cheating. We are fairly certain that the phenomenon is much higher than that. And again, that's why we created, I mean, Andre created any brand. My kind of estimation based on a bunch of different numbers was around 30% are using something to improve yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. We're, we're thinking along the same lines here. And they're under NDA, so they couldn't tell me exactly which game, but they had data to back up these claims. Every time we catch somebody cheating, uh, what we need also is uh, multiple moments that have a very high probability of being somebody using a name bot. So a pro will have very few of these moments because they are just very good, right? Yes. But yeah. uh, in order for us to make the validation actually get flagged of you using, let's say, a name bot in the game, that means that we would have make moves that have a very, very high probability of being aimbots and doing that multiple times. So let's say hypothetically, I'm only using a very small amount of humanized aim assist. Is this something that you think you're, you're yeah, like Kaylee or Kukli? Yeah, so well, first, uh, and well, a lot of people is using that uh, small adjustment that is yeah. make it if invisible uh, on a video or if you're watching the stream is so difficult because the difference is uh, on human eye it's uh, almost impossible to catch but the way we interact uh, is still impossible to make it as a human can you expound a little maybe or maybe help me understand just a little better yeah well let's say that you are just adjusting a few pixels 
yeah. the, the way you move with this adjustment, uh, it will be uh, not natural uh, timing that is not human. Even if it, in our eye it looks human, uh, but on uh, pixel level, but also on these patterns, it is not human. So th that's why we can catch it. People say, oh, he was cheating, uh, I'm sure, because it is impossible to aim on, the, on that way. Sometimes it's just lucky or uh, you are really good. So it's difficult for people to understand and the result of uh, false claims about, oh, he was cheating yep. or no, because he's so good player, it's impossible. Uh, yeah, so many people think I cheat, yeah. Just for these patterns from yeah, pixel level, crazy. we can understand this. After oh, a, a few hours of gameplay of someone using a humanized aim assist, it would be able to detect that that's off -handed. The usual behavior is like, let's say somebody using an aimbot on Warzone, actually real time plus five minutes. In order okay. to flag somebody who is using that. To detect someone in real time can take as little as five minutes. Exactly. Wow, wow that's, that's really cool. It felt almost like I was in a dream. Like I was going to wake up and tell Olivia that I had a dream that someone made. The AI anti-cheat that solved everything. And this won't happen in the coming months. We're fairly confident that something's going to happen, something's going to click in this year. But it got even better. Two hours is to create the play profile for what we call identity foods. What they're okay. talking about is a biometric profile, a profile as distinguishable as your thumbprint or your face. Uh, so this will need the baseline of two hours because it's unique to each and every one of us as gamers. On how you play the game. This means that once you get banned, it's not as simple as creating another account. If you create another account, the AI detects your biometric profile. Every account you make will be banned. There's no hardware ID, it's you you will be permanently banned from the game with no chance of ever playing it again. We're fully confident that some things are about to change. The implications of this are insane, especially if the game has a replay system. If you have ever cheated and the data is saved server side, you are then able to be caught at any point oh. in the future. Yo, do you know what's crazy about that? That's like some, uh, what is that game called? Hold on, what, yo, with virtual? Virtual plays, what's that game? The the racing game? Trackmania. That's some Trackmania shit. Am I wrong? But for Counter-Strike or for FPS games. Damn. That's that's crazy because some something similar happened to Trackmania where some some software was created later later on that can detect your your uh, keystrokes and shit like that and like perfectly. And it would and it can be like utilized on demos and shit from like old runs and stuff. So some people were found to be old cheaters. Cheat, you will be caught. Cheaters of, with old runs, rather. It's just a matter of time. The biometric fingerprint of a pro player or streamer could be seen on an alt account that was hacking a year ago or last week or currently. Now, I don't know if these things will be done with this data, but I can tell you that FPS games, all online multiplayer games, are saved. Now, the Waldo project is different. It plans to put this power of knowing in your hands. A way to know if any player is cheating simply by scanning the gameplay footage, laying bare the truth and leaving the effects up to us. We now confirm it's possible and in fact need your help to make it a reality. A full technical update of the Waldo project is available on Recon Samurai's channel. I think the glory days of online FPS games are not behind us, but are ahead of us. And if you're one Enough. of the- I'm too old for that shit, man. FPS games. Why couldn't I just be I born like a few years ago? Are your nipples getting itchy? No, no, no steroids. We're cool. Interesting. I mean, I'd like to believe it. We'll see how everything goes, though. Games have to be willing to implement it, I'm pretty sure. So, AI hacks versus AI anti cheats? Yeah, but the AI anti cheats should win on that, on that one. The true power is still the admin of the server. I wouldn't read too much into this. I know this will never be reality. Think so? Yeah. It does seem far-fetched. You cheated in the past. Now's the time to come clean. Analyzing old gameplay is coming, dude. Hey, I'm with it. Look away. How crazy would it be, dude, if it's just AI just started doing band waves through the pro scene in Counter-Strike? 